does some very important things. It increases hydration intracellularly. Well, what do we need to carry the nutrition into the cells? Water. It, it gets into the cells by water. So if we're not getting water into the cells, there, we're not carrying nutrition, we're not getting oxygen, we're not getting hydrogen. You know, all of the important factors that you know, give us energy and, and make us healthy. So once we start taking this water, typically what we see, people stop craving food. They're not as hungry. And naturally the weight just starts coming off. And, and of course, we know yeah, just, just dehydration will cause you to gain weight. Fat cells are typically filled with toxins. It's a, it's a place where the body stores toxins because we've reached a point where we can't get rid of them all. Our liver's on toxic overload, our, you know, our, our colon, our skin, our lungs, their, our lymphatic system, they get all plugged up. We're not eliminating the toxins. They've got, you know, we've got to do something with them, right? Mm -hmm. Where they're literally going to kill us. Which, you know, cancer, for example, tumors. Now, here's an interesting fact. They've, they've actually done some clinical studies where they have surgically removed a tumor. They tested the blood prior to removing the tumor. The blood was relatively clean. Mm -hmm. After removing the tumor, the, the blood quickly got dirty. So what they've discovered is the tumor is literally a filtering system like, a, like the oil filter on your car that's removing toxins from your blood. So really, what is a tumor? It's a life-saving measure. It was created by your body to prolong your life. So what do we do to that life-saving <laughs> that life saving vehicle, if you will. Cut it out, remove it. We cut it out or we radiate it, we, we hit it with... A attack. <laughs> attack. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And are we getting rid of the problem? No. The uh, oh. problem is being, uh, you could say, exacerbated, so to speak. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And in many times what we're doing is we're actually releasing cancer cells into the entire system. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, one of the lead doctor at the Hippocrates Clinic uh, said that basically when you do a biopsy, it's like poking a hole in a bag of rice. Mm -hmm. And now you're allowing the rice to escape, scatter all over the floor. Mm -hmm. Well, what we're doing is we're allowing cancer cells to enter the bloodstream and go to metastasis. Everywhere, very Absolutely. quickly yeah. too. A lot of people would be, um, some people who are familiar with DMSO, for example, mm -hmm. is something, if, if you even touch it uh, within... 15, 20 seconds, you can taste it. Yes. And you get this sense of just how rapidly the body can distribute cells, or at the very least, the information everywhere. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's an amazing, amazing phenomenon to actually appreciate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been said if you crush up a, a clove of garlic and step on it with your bare foot, you'll taste it in your mouth in 15 seconds. That's mm -hmm. how quickly these things are entering the bloodstream. And of course, all of our nano pro uh, products will do that. You can use them topically uh, with excellent results, especially if you have a local inflammation or something like that. It will quickly reach that area um, and, and have you know, a, a positive effect if that's a mineral that you're lacking. Mm -hmm. Getting back to, to the tumor, how is a tumor essentially formed? Well, when the body gets, reaches a point of toxicity that it can no longer eliminate. Mm -hmm. it, so it's on a, day, on a daily basis, you're accumulating more than you can get rid of. So basically what happens is these, these toxins begin to pool up in a weakened organ or tissue that cannot fight the toxins off as readily as the surrounding tissues. Mm -hmm. So we have a pool that begins to form. Mm -hmm. This becomes a life-threatening situation. The body recognizes that builds a protein or fibrin sheath around this toxic pool, which we call a tumor. And then, of course, it's so toxic inside that a lot of times the cells are going to have to mutate in order to continue living. Mm -hmm. Well, what's a mutated cell? It's a cancer cell. It's malignant. Okay, before it becomes malignant, it's benign, right? But if it's, gonna, if it's there long enough, typically it's going to turn malignant. And then the tumor builds its own circulatory system. 
As blood enters in, it filters those toxins out. The cancer cells, actually, that becomes the food for the cancer cells. And because there is so much food, they grow prolifically. And typically, the tumor is going to expand, expand, expand. Mm -hmm. Well, so what do we do? If we remove the food source from the cancer, the cancer goes on a diet. It simply shrinks. It's assimilated back into the body. It just goes away. Mm -hmm. So really what we need to be looking at is what is the cause of the problem? Because if we don't understand what caused the problem, we're probably going to do something like irradiate chemotherapy or surgery mm -hmm. you know, to attack the symptom, not attack the problem. Well, sure. Even by giving the... the